date number two. <laughs> we are coming to the movie theater here at the Aeon Mall, which is a Japanese mall. This is actually going to be our first time going to a movie theater in Japan because there's a movie theater on base and that's obviously all in English and stuff. But this one, we're not really sure what to expect. So you guys are coming with us. Mmm, <laughs> watermelon. So there's the movie theater. This is usually where I come in let Sophie play. Oh yeah, Sophie peed one time there. She left her mark. <laughs> First dilemma. We can't read any of the... Uh... Actually, no, let's see, some are in English. So yeah, that's the first dilemma. And it looks like you buy the tickets on a machine, I think. Maybe it's in English. Enter your order number and phone number, then touch next. What? Order number? Let's see. Ah, I think this is Oh, this is... Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so we think those machines are like pre-order tickets and then you come just pick it up. So then here we're gonna see where where we can get the ticket. Uh, movies in English? Light between oceans? Okay, we didn't know which movie we're gonna which movies were gonna be available. So the movie already started at 12.10. It's already 12.27. 12.27. And apparently we're gonna watch a romantic one. I was thinking about watching a Japanese movie, but we, it doesn't have any subtitles, so we wouldn't have known like what was going on other than like the pictures. But we just went ahead and got one with English subtitles just to like understand the movie, but it looks like um, it is a romantic one, so yeah. But let me show you guys around while Lala's in the bathroom, I think. So this is uh, the theater. So that's a concession stand over there. And then they have like a cinema store. And yeah, that's the theater. We were already late. <laughs> Go, babe, pull it out. Oh, you can't. <laughs> it's just pretend. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sub the light between oceans, whatever that is. Is this the one? Yeah, but sh I think it's already started. Oh. <clears throat> you might go down the elevator. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, as you can see, Lala, you were crying too. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this movie. I thought it was gonna be romantic because the picture looked like really romantic movie. It was the most depressing thing I have ever seen in my entire life. If you are having a good day and you feel like you wanna be depressed and sad, <laughs> this is the movie you should go watch. That's a good movie, but it was... It was a good sad. movie, but it was just so sad. I think because we're parents. Yeah. I can't do movies anymore with kids. I just can't. I'm like an emotional person when it comes to kids now. You don't even know how hard I was trying. <laughs> I was trying to hold back the tears, but then as soon as they started rolling down, I couldn't stop. <laughs> and then if I if I wish I would like I wish I would have known it was gonna be a tearful movie because then I would have brought tissues instead of using my sleeves. Yeah. They're all gross. That's why I folded. <laughs> I folded them because I just, I had to wipe my tears away with something. Oh, it was such a terrible movie. Okay. It was an interesting date to say the yeah. least. Let's just put it that way. It's one we will never forget, that's for sure. But it's already 2.30 and we gotta go pick up Sophie at the bus stop, so. So we're on our way now to go pick her up. My eyes are still like swollen. I like ran out of the theater really fast. 
so, so I could go to the bathroom and like clean myself up. We're all going on this date together even though you guys didn't see the movie. <laughs> Which I don't recommend if you're a parent. I turned around and then I saw Lalo like <laughs> at like the very end. It was, so it was like it was the worst ending ever. Like Sabe rico the sandwich, mommy? A ver, come tu sandwich. Come tu sandwich. Ew! <laughs> so it's been a while since the movie theater. I wanted to show you guys something that came in the mail the other day. I finally have time to try it. Carbon Cocoa Natural Teeth Whitening reached out to me and they, they sent me this powder with a toothbrush to try out. It's an all natural teeth whitening product. And I have never used it before and I think it's like the perfect timing because show day is coming up July 16th and I have actually been looking for something to help with my teeth whitening because we all know that when you're super tan, you tend to notice when your teeth are not white. <laughs> so I'm glad that this came in. This is going to be the first time trying it. I'll definitely let you guys know what I think about it. So let's get started. zoomed up into the screen but I figured this is the best way for me to show you guys the after and how it turned out okay so first thoughts I just brushed my teeth and put a little I put a little bit of lip gloss because my lips were really chapped so anyways um, so I did notice that you definitely have to like you know get up all in there with the floss because it gets stuck under your gums or at least it did for me. Um, I just, I don't know, you can kind of see, you can kind of see like right here maybe. <laughs> oh, this is so personal, sorry guys. I noticed that it kind of got up in between my gums and my tooth, so definitely floss after you use it. Other than that, no taste. Just felt like you had dirt in your mouth for a little bit, but as you continue to brush, it kind of like faded away, that feeling. Then you brush normally with like toothpaste. For the most part, it all went away with the brushing, but you will have to floss afterwards just to get all those nooks and crannies. For me, since I wore braces back in the day, I have a permanent retainer at the bottom, so it gets really hard to get into. Since my teeth are super tight at the bottom, uh, flossing gets really challenging for me. But that's the only thing that I had difficulty with, but this is very individual, so not everyone has a permanent retainer. I honestly don't see much of a difference as far as color. I feel like you kind of have to use it over time. I will definitely keep you guys updated with this and let you guys know. I feel like one of the things that will make me realize whether or not it works is if other people notice, so we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully this works. If you guys want to try it out, I'll have a link in the description box below if you guys are interested in trying it out, purchasing it for yourself. So you guys can go ahead and do your research, buy it if you want to. If you guys tried it already or you're trying it now, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, if it has worked for you guys, if you've been using it for a while. I'd love to know your review on it. Comment down below, let me know. And that concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. I never know how to end a video. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. I feel like a real YouTuber now since I get, like, free stuff. It's pretty cool. Thank you, Carbon Coco, for sending me this product. I am super excited to try this out, and I will continue to use it on the daily Stay late because I've been drinking a lot of coffee and uh, I'm starting to notice. <laughs>